Hey everybody, Brett from Stardust Gaming here, back with another episode of our Expeditions Viking Let's Play. So in the last episode, we were given a task by um, Osred's right-hand man, I don't recall his name, to um, go to this little um, like farmstead here, if you can even call it that. It's like a little campsite along the road. And uh, steal a letter, um, dispatching everybody, you know, who is accompanying that letter and uh, go to the site of some sort of negotiations that these people are supposed to be at and basically just slaughter everybody there. So we've got the letter, we know where it is, we need to go to the swamp which is uh, in the northeast of Northumbria. Um, I'm sure it'll tell us on the map. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna run on over to the uh, node here to leave and I will see you guys at the Overland map. <clears throat> okay, so apparently this is our destination here. Uh, before we jump in there, though, I do want to look at something in our inventory because um, a couple of you had pointed out that the reason why uh, Nephia went down in the last episode was possibly because of this spear. Um, all enemies along attack path take damage. However, she also hurt herself, but we definitely damaged, um, I believe, Aslaif with it. So we need to be careful about that. Because it says all enemies, but I'm pretty sure it's dealing damage to anybody along the attack path. But for some reason, she took damage as well, and I'm not too sure why that happened. But uh, if I can't figure it out, I might just go back to the leech stab. It does a lot less damage, but uh, at least I don't have to worry about it killing her or anybody else who I don't intend it to. So we'll keep an eye on that. But let's head to here. Uh, I don't think we'll need to rest, really. Hopefully not. Oh, no, everybody's hungry. Great. Uh, scratch that then. Let's head to the forest campsite real quick. We'll rest. We'll eat. We'll patch up. Uh, I believe Nephia is the one that's hurt. And then we'll head back here. As the sun sets, Nephia rolls a small barrel of mead into camp. Anyone up for a drink? Or ten? Gunnar grabs the mead from Nephia's hands, takes a large swig, and wipes his mouth with his sleeve before handing it back. Best idea I've heard all week. What do you say, Hakon? Let's turn this into a feast. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. This this might be a bad idea, given that we're trying to uh, get ready to attack somebody here. I, I'm going to pass, but everybody else, feel free. I don't want to tell them to sit down and shut up. That's that's not cool. The great cheer, everyone dips into the drink. A few extra pieces of meat are also thrown into a pot and cooked over the roaring fire. Your people talk and laugh long into the night. Those who are drinking hold back out of respect for those who aren't. But everyone seems to be having a good time, and they go about their tasks a bit more cheerfully. Good. So it looks like we boosted morale without like getting everybody completely like shit faced. All right. So Nephi is all patched up. We got some barricades, and uh, looks like we gained some meat, but we lost medicine and rations. Okay. So everybody is nice and patched up now. Let's go ahead and head back to the swamp here. And I'll be bringing my usual crew. Alright, so here we are. I'm going to run around and grab any loot nodes I see. Uh, we've got some plants over there. i got to be careful, though. There is like a road here, and I imagine we'll run into somebody if we're just kind of strolling down the center of it. So let's maybe jump off to the side here. It actually looks like this is where we're supposed to go. Um, that's the meeting point, apparently. The crumbling walls of an ancient tower stand skewed like a withered tree. Asleif's eyes glide alert across the sparse vegetation. This, much, this must be the place. Looks like we got here before the delegations. Um, let's make a perception check. We'll evaluate our surroundings just to be sure we're not walking into an ambush. We failed. The feeling of wrongness passes over you like icy fingers caressing your neck, but you identify no clear source of your uneasiness. Yeah, I'm sort of getting the same vibe. What's the plan? If I understand the mission correctly, we're to foil a diplomatic alliance. Hmm... We can lie and wait up the western road to ambush them. Take the banner and cancel negotiations on their behalf. Uh, ambush Osred's delegation. Then we'll approach the Mercians and offer them great riches to support our own invasion. Um, that might be a bad idea if we don't have the riches to back that up. Uh, we'll wait here for the first delegation to arrive. Then we kill them quick before the second group shows up, so we don't need to fight them at the same time. Um, well, we don't want to cross the Mercians. We're, we're here to keep our enemies from making allies, not to make more enemies. 
So let's do this one. <clears throat> Asleif nods resolutely. A bold plan. We must act quickly then. Must we? Uh, so let's see. Foiled the meeting between Osred's emissaries. Uh, optional lay an ambush along the western road or wait for the Mercian delegation in front of the Roman tower. I don't, again, I don't want to mess with the Mercian delegation if I can help it. Of course it's empty. <clears throat> so let's see. Um, let's head down the road here. And we'll set up for the uh, or for Osred's delegation. What is this? I want to make sure I'm being led to the right spot here. Well, I guess it's not going to tell me which one's which, is it? I assume this is the western road. Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, that is west. So that's where we would wait for the Mercians, I imagine. So, yeah. What's this say? Prepare ambush. Yeah. They're almost here. Get ready. Okay, so we gotta set up some traps. Um, let's see. I'm thinking... We don't want them to cross the bridge here. Because they have to get to... Oh. Is, I, I guess... Do we just have to kill them all or something? I thought that we were going to have to like stop them from getting to a certain spot. Um, I'm thinking we have poison caltrops, right? Somebody brought some? Yeah. So I could probably caltrop this area right here and so they can't use that bridge without taking a bunch of damage. Or better yet, you have a net trap. So maybe I could caltrop it and net trap it and so they'll get poisoned and stuck. That might work. And then we'll hide in this little nook here so they have to kind of come up here to get to us. Um, let's see... You got regular caltrops. Oh, and you got more poison ones. Okay. That works. Let's get you here then. And I'm going to trap the bridge. I have to do it next turn, I guess. Um, and then as far as the caltrops go, I want them like where, sort of where he's standing and then up here. So let's move you to here. And I need you next to him. <clears throat> we'll have to wait, obviously. I can't throw them down on hack on. So I want these... If I put it there, they can't really get by it, can they? That would be better. So yeah, do that. And then yours. I'm not going to do them yet, but we'll probably do it interlocking like that. And then have the uh, net trap right here. So even if they get to this, well, actually, I could do it there. Hmm. Interesting thought. But the thing is, the net trap or the caltrops don't stop them. They just take damage as they walk over it. And I think with the poison ones, they don't even take immediate damage. So the net trap is actually going to stop them in their tracks and keep them from crossing the bridge. So you're going to wait. No, no, no. God damn it. Okay. Well. I guess he's just stuck there now. Well, actually, no, I think there won't be one there, so you can still sneak out that way, I guess. Uh, I can't believe I just misclicked that. Well, at least we still have your net trap, and then I suppose you have regular caltrops, so we're just going to waste a bunch of caltrops here. <clears throat> Go ahead and toss yours. You can't throw it that far. Uh, let's try to so uh, do that. That was a waste, but okay, at least... I don't know how to cancel that. It won't let me, like, click off of it. And you guys just move up to here for now. Actually, stay the hell out of the way for now. Um... Okay. So you are going to set that down. Right there. That's an interesting animation for that. But there it is. And then I need you all to get out of the way a little bit. Let's see. Move there. This sucks. Okay. Everybody out of the way. I'm going to put Ruskva in the back. Let's get you right there. Facing the right way. Not that it really matters. 
And then, okay, apparently Hakon's gonna be sort of hung out to dry here. But oh well. Um, I don't know what I should do about that. Let's see, why don't you go there? I'll put you here on like Overwatch. Put you guys both on Overwatch and we'll see what happens. I don't know. It's kind of got messed up. I'm going to use his buff while we're just standing here. And uh, that just leaves you and you don't really have anything to do. Okay, let's see how it goes. So here they come. Um, they didn't take any damage from that. So I can try to trap them here. Hmm. That's an interesting thought because they wouldn't be able to get around unless they went that way. I don't think that they even can. So yeah, let's try it. He's already stuck out here anyways. So I, I think they're all just piled up there now. Let's see. Gunnar. Might send Asleif first. Neither is going to be able to attack this turn anyway. So I'm going to put Asleif there to block. So like that's completely blocked off now. Um, Gunnar I might keep in reserve because if somebody walks through these they will clear a path and so I can send him through any path that they clear. Um, let's have you step out to there and then I gotta figure out who I want to kill. Um, if I stun that guy I can put him down this turn. They do have two healers though so I need to either target the healers or kill whoever I'm targeting efficiently. Um, I think we can probably get this archer between Ruskva and Kettle, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll fire and then move him out of the way. Um, oh crap. Okay, move there. You go here. Ruskva, move back to where he was. And 73, yeah, go ahead and use your ranging shot. Put it right there. <clears throat> Just to ensure that we land this one. That's 73 doesn't make me real confident. 95 makes me confident. So let's go ahead and do that. So there's their archer down. I'm sure some of these people have bows. Like she'll probably pull out a bow or something. Um, I'm going to move Nephia out of there while I have the opportunity. And I'll put Ruskva back out of the way. And then realistically you can take a shot at somebody too. Um... What's the 47? It's not great. Um, go ahead and put a ranging shot there. We have one more with Kettle, but I don't think they're going to be moving around a whole lot unless they are willing to dance around on these Caltrops. And that should help her land a hit. I'm going to target this person. So either this healer is going to turn around and heal them and take two attacks of opportunity and waste their chance of attacking back or this person's just going to have to take the damage. Uh, and then, let's see, I will... I don't think a stun is in order here. I might just do a regular attack and then a rock throw. Cool, it got through. And go ahead and uh, lob that. I eh, blocked it. Oh well. It's a free action. May as well use it. And then we'll, we're going to use Baldur's Favor as well since he's not doing anything else. Okay, what are they going to do? Oh, he's going to charge right through it. And he's going to uh, trigger the snare. Awesome. Why don't you run down these Caltrops here? I like how they put the healer in front. But they are, it looks like they're making a break for it. And apparently, well, I'll check again. I didn't see a highlighted area before. So they all fled. Got it. Um, right, you are going to charge the guy here and your job is going to be to basically block that bridge. Good job. Um, I guess I can help out right there. I don't want to let that person pass, but they can't go anywhere. Unless he steps behind there and draws a bow, like I don't see what they're going to do. You can go ahead and charge this healer. Come on, crit. Ah, oh well. Uh, Kettle, I kind of need you to kill that dude. Wait, that's Nephia. Kettle. Can uh, Ruskva one-shot him? She can, but it's not a guaranteed hit. I'm going to take the chance because if Kettle can fire elsewhere, that would 
be better for me. So, yeah, 83 is pretty good. Good job. <clears throat> okay. So let's see. Um, that's not enough. That would be enough. 67 is pretty... Pretty not great, though. Let's try it. <clears throat> Good job. Okay, so their healer is down. They still have one healer left. Um, I'm going to put you on him so he can't move around. I guess I'll move Hakon to here to help out with this guy. Or to finish that guy off, I guess. And... Let's see, you can pile in there. I wish I could move you onto the bridge, but that should be fine. So that just leaves Kettle then. So I'll put you there. Still no shot. What if I put you here? Still no shot, really. That looks like a clean line of sight to me. Interesting. Um, go here. Let's use your ranging shot and we'll see if that clears it up. If it doesn't, then we'll just fire an arrow into this guy point blank. But I was hoping to use either to kill that person outright or to use a fire arrow. Yeah, it says something's blocking it. I don't know what. Oh well, shoot this guy. <clears throat> Damn it. Well, I expected as much. Okay. So that is pretty much that get you guys out of the way and so we just have to kill these two and it's done pretty straightforward interesting choice why don't you come back this way yeah there you go all right hack on do you have a charge no you don't all right well that's fine hmm yeah go for it Good job, okay. Um, in that case, let's see. Shield hook, right there. And then Azlaith, you can use a heavy swing. Because you're not going anywhere. Come on, crit. Ah, not great. Let's see, Kettle, finish him off. Good job. Now get out of the way. And Ruskva. I need you to make this shot. Please don't block it. Good job. Okay. So that's that. That was pretty easy, actually. Not bad at all. Uh, I, you know, I completely botched the setup, but it seemed to work out fine. We did waste a lot of traps there, but that's fine. I, I can make them for, like, nothing. <clears throat> I have a bunch that I just don't have equipped because I have nobody to carry them. Um, give me something good. Make this worth my while. Uh, at least valuables and stuff. It's not terrible. Um, that's not particularly great. Wait, what did that say? A mother tried to save her child and failed. That's kind of dark. Like the, somebody burned the house down or something around them? There was a corpse up against that. Your father's talisman. Oh, we found something. Take it. Uh, plus 10% damage versus unarmored humans. That's Cars, isn't it? But your uncle brought his body home. This can't be him. What could this mean? He must have been here. Kettle crouches near the burned house to the, or to brush his hand across the dried mud. There are a lot of tracks here. It looks like some kind of fight took place before the fire. Uh, let's make a perception check. We'll probably fail it, but it's worth trying. Yeah. There are too many tracks to make sense of. The longer you stare, the less you understand. Can you tell which way they led? Hmm, south by the look of it, but it's hard to tell if they came from there or left in that direction. Um, let's see. Well, if we head in that direction, we should keep our eyes open. As long as we don't get sidetracked. Interesting. Very interesting. Like, what would, what would his father have been up to? And didn't we kill somebody over here? No, I guess they didn't get that far. Um, ooh, there's wolves. Let's be careful here. The rotting corpse is still clutching a simple cooking knife. Well, there's a treasure chest. Armor bomb and valuables. Eh, I don't know if that was worth almost getting attacked by a 
gigantic pack of wolves. Uh, let's not play with that. Oh, there they are. They, apparently they're not lootable. Kettle's still stuck in the animation or something. Hopefully that doesn't cause bugs. Kettle. God damn it. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's go do the next part of this mission. Maybe he'll fix himself or something. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. So... Are we down somebody? I only see four. Yeah, he's still over there. Great. Uh, hopefully this doesn't turn into a fight. The Mercian delegation finally arrives, led by a finely dressed woman with gray hair and stern eyes. She sizes you up in one hard-edged look, but when she speaks, her voice is measured and diplomatic. Hail your graces, my name is Godwiff. I represent Offa, Rex, and Glorum. Forgive my impertinence, but you are not dressed like any Northumbrian I've met on my way here. Um... I am not Northumbrian, I am Norse, sent here by Osred as a neutral party. Her eyes narrow. That's an odd move. Are we not here to discuss terms of an alliance between our kingdoms? Why would His Majesty send a neutral party to represent his interests? Hmm. Uh, she's already on to us. I better come clean. Osred didn't send me here at all. The emissary stiffens and her voice grows hard with caution. Explain yourself. I was sent by Aethelred to make sure our alliance never happens. Make your peace with your god. Alright, well, this isn't what I was hoping for, but... I suppose nobody's going to know the difference whether we killed them or Osraid's people killed them, so... Maybe this way is better, maybe we can start a, a rift between the two kingdoms. Um, so yeah, looks like we're fighting no matter what. We are out of time, though, so I'm going to break off the episode here. And, uh, oh, great, the game is bugging out. Fantastic. Well, in that case, I'll end the episode anyway, and I'll try to play back to this point without getting this problem. But uh, my hopes aren't high, because I've run into issues like this before, and they're difficult to resolve. But we might not be able to get out of a fight on this one, so we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Expeditions Viking with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.